Hi there, welcome to Copilot Snacks, and I'm your host, Michael Gennati. We're going to be taking a look today at Copilot in Word. And yesterday I had the opportunity to uh, sit with a really great customer, lots of great questions. We spent 90 minutes, but we're not going to spend that today. This is snack size to, you know, get a quick little bite, little taste of using Copilot and Word because there's all kinds of great features. It has been evolving as the whole Copilot suite has rapidly. So many folks were surprised to see features that they were looking for and wanting yesterday. Um, and then suddenly they, there they are, they're appearing. So we're going to walk through a number of things. We're going to, and we're going to talk through some pieces as well, try to get it all done in under 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and head on over to our secondary screen because who wants to just see me talk? Let's get it going. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the creation of a Word document. And so for that, I'm going to go ahead and we are going to open up Microsoft Word. There we go. And while that is opening, I also have a little prompt pre-made that we are going to uh, put up here. I'm going to go ahead and click copy. We'll click a bank blank document. And right away, there we are. We are greeted with that prompt within Word to be an assistant, right? Copilot is that copilot sitting next to you, ready to help in the flow of work as you need it. And we want to create a document. So, you know, we could do this. I work in healthcare and life sciences, but certainly you could change the verbiage, um, make it be whatever you want. They even, you know, uh, have the ability to come in. You can get some prompt help if you go over here to Copilot. We're just going to go ahead, though, and I have a prompt pre-made. And in this case, I wanted to look at healthcare and life sciences, you know, and different orgs that I deal with that are multinational. And so one of those uh, scenarios is how can Microsoft Copilot or Microsoft 365 Copilot and the Microsoft Viva Suite reduce clinical trials, employee burnout, um, while increasing employee job satisfaction and increasing employee job retention. Big, big issue with a lot of companies, not just around uh, clinical trials people, obviously, or clinicians, but, you know, it could be in med it could be in manufacturing, it can be in the financial services industry. So many people are facing this overwhelming sense of burnout. Uh, in a go, go, go world, always connected. So how can these two things help? Now notice I can always come here and reference a file. So if I select that, I can come in and we'll see that we have some decks that we can go to. I could also start to type the name and it'll auto populate, but we're not gonna reference a file. We're gonna leverage our internal Microsoft 365 tenant and the data there. So documents are in OneDrive that are in SharePoint or the underlying SharePoint for Teams, all kinds of areas that we might want to make sure are being represented here. And so all that's available to me, I'm gonna select Generate in the first hop of our story, which is Generation. Then we're gonna look at editing, transformation, and some other things that we can do. Uh, then we're gonna do some analysis and summarization so a lot, lot of goodness to have here. And so here we go. So we've got this um, Viva Suite has taken my question, turned it into a, a title here in Word. It'll be much different when we do snacks for PowerPoint, et cetera. But here you can see it's created a title, a subtitle. It's introducing it. And you can see it's already starting off with clinical trials are essential for advancing medical research and innovation, but they also pose significant challenges for the employees who conduct them. Right off the bat, it's, it's demonstrating understanding. And it's doing that by looking at, again, our internal data here at my employer at Microsoft um, within our tenant. So we have data here within our tenant around this subject area. That's an important thing to remember. As you're generating content here, you want it to be reflect, you need to make sure that you're, you have data within your org stored appropriately so that it's accessible and can be rendered in. Of course, one of the things we talked about yesterday was that can be extended to third-party systems via graph connectors and Copilot plugins. That's a whole other subject. 
but you can certainly bring in other information from other systems as well if that's desired. But here you can see I've gone ahead. We've done that. I have the option now to keep. I can regenerate the whole thing if I'm not quite sure that I like it. I can click discard it and I can further on, like they give the example, make it formal. I can have it iterate on this that's been done and transform it. Maybe I want to say make it more descriptive, make it more casual, <clears throat> whatever the case might be. Give it a further prompt that refines the original prompt. I'm going to go ahead, though, and elect to keep it. And so now we can see that I have this two-page document that's been produced. Um, and so with that now, I can do a number of things. So it's we have the document that's been produced. So the next thing that we might want to do is start to transform some of the content here. So for example, you know, we have this conclusion that's right here. And perhaps we want to, you know, I, I like it, but it's not quite what I wanted. That's all right. We can have it rewrite text. So to do that, I'm simply going to come in. I'm going to highlight the text that's here. And notice there is my icon appearing. And if I select that, I have two options. Rewrite with Copilot, visualize as a table. Two options for me right off the gate. So I can go ahead now and say, hey, you know what? Have Copilot take a look at that. Rewrite it. It's going to have the same information, the same thing that it's delivering, right, as far as the impetus, but it's going to change the wording a bit to make it something a little different. So here I can go ahead, once it's done that, I can replace the existing text. I can insert below, so perhaps I want to have a visual comparison of the two for me to go ahead and then say, yeah, I like this, I like this. Maybe I do that several times, replacing, so I have a number of variations. Pick the one I like, delete the rest. That's available for me. I also have the regenerate feature, so I can just redo it again and then I'll, you know, pick from one of the options. And finally, maybe I don't like the tone. Right now, the tone is neutral. If I want, I can go ahead and elect to make it professional, to make it casual, to make it imaginative, to make it concise. All that's available for me right there. But we're going to go ahead and just say replace. There we go. There is our new content. And certainly you can see then. Once I've done that transformation, perhaps I want to now add additional content. I can go ahead and do so by simply, again, selecting and beginning to draft additional content through the use of Copilot here. So that's one option in our transform. But remember, we saw two, the ability to rewrite and visualize as a table. So perhaps I want to go ahead and, and do that. So let's go ahead. Let's grab some additional text here. Um, we'll do that from the introduction and we'll select. And this time, let's go ahead and say visualize as a table. It's now going to go ahead, pull together the content into a, a table that's representative of that content. It's done that and it's placed that below here. And I can elect to keep it. I can regenerate. I can add, you know, it has, for example, remove the row about, but I can go ahead. I'm just going to select keep it. And now we have kind of a visualization as a table that's represented here so people can get a highlighted glance as to what we're talking about. You've probably seen stuff like that if you've looked at the uh, Microsoft documentation around products online where they describe something and then they table it out. Ta da There you go. So a couple of things that we were able to quickly do around transformation of this. You know, we did transformation of a table. But what if we want to go even further? Perhaps we want to go and start to chat with Copilot about the document that we're generating. What does that bring us? So let's go ahead. Let's open up Copilot here. And there's a couple of things that we can do, right? So number one, we can write about this document. Now, typically, that's going to be safe for large format docs um, versus uh, this kind of information. But we're going to go ahead and do some additional things. So number one, we might wanna ask questions about this. And I already have a suggested prompt, by the way, if you wanna see additionals, if you haven't seen this before, click view prompt, boom, here's suggestions with additional examples. I can also elect to click to see more prompts and I can even go to the Copilot lab and see a view of all prompts that are being generated. 
from within my org, right? So I'm logged in as me. And then they have all kinds of prompts to try and you can see them per application, right? Uh, for emails and others, and I can continue to show more and more and more where we're customizing those prompts for our org based upon the needs of our users as opposed to other organizational or other organization users, right? So we have that here, but I wanna go ahead and also, in addition to that, notice I can not only use this document for what we're doing, but I have the option to, again, ask and query Copilot to get an answer over here on the right that maybe I want to pull into the left and look at all the data. So maybe I have some additional uh, querying. But I'm going to go ahead, use this document, and maybe I want to send a summary of this now to a colleague. I, I want to, you know, hey, this is what I'm thinking about writing. you have any further ideas? I don't want to burden them with the large document that I produce. So let's go ahead and say, summarize uh, this document. And, you know, we could have selected the, the piece above here, summarize this doc. We just, I hand wrote it. Um, that's always there. Also notice there is here, there's a little microphone. If you want to provide audio input, you can certainly do so. So it's going ahead, it's working on it. It's looking at this freshly baked document. Boom, it's grabbing main ideas in a bulleted format and it's finishing up, it's done. It has some additional queries, include, you know, make, include details in the summary or more details, make the summary more formal. Those are some suggestions, but I can simply now come in here, copy, and then take that with me and bring it on over into a, an email, for example, to pass along to a colleague. So that's one of the options I have right here within that chatting uh, scenario with this piece. I can also ask some, you know, uh, open-ended questions, about how to do things, that's always available. And, you know, just a great piece. And we've already done the summary, so I'm not going to go further into that, but I think you can see how very quickly we can generate a document, transform aspects of that document, and then do further querying to be able to summarize and ask questions about the document as it's there. Um, it's just a great place. now. I will tell you some final thoughts. Number one, as you can see, very full feature. There's a lot of things that can happen here. Now, am I gonna come in here and ask it, you know, co-pilot, go out, provide a, reach into our uh, database repository of financial sales, grab that data, visualize it, write a report around it, emphasizing our trends for the upcoming year and blah, 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 blah. Can I do that? No, no, not today. Is that coming? The world is your oyster and this continues to evolve. But today it really is geared towards a lot of the everyday tasks that people are using to create content. Can you focus it on a given area or a given document for the output? Absolutely, you saw that. In fact, if we come on back here to our document, right? and we went to do more, of course, I can always reference a file, right? I can either uh, start to type the name or I can give it the URL. Either way will work for referencing that for the content creation. Are we pulling volumes of documents yet? No, right? Not today, but again, you know, we are iterating rapidly on all these solutions. So as you can see, we can do a lot here. Is it, are we boiling the ocean yet? No, but are we providing you a very rich experience by which you can become infinitely more productive quicker without all the overhead that you typically might have? Absolutely. So think of that as you go into Word uh, with Copilot and start to leverage it, start to look at how you can use it, Think about the different things. I had uh, one of my colleagues, uh, we'll, we're going to grab them when they get back from vacation because I want them to do this. But they do a great demo where for medical ones, they do an SBAR report and they just tell it to do it in SBAR format. And boom, spits it out. A lot of great opportunities here. Focus on what it does well. 
more is coming and will continue to come as this is all a new area. It's a brave new world. But this is Mike Giannotti with your co-pilot snack, co-pilot in word. And you have a great day. Take care. And as always, ciao.